the Jared here at Legoland in Florida for the very first time. I have never been here. And we're going to do the brick or treat. Those all goobers all dressed up, but not me. Right before you get into Legoland, we found this awesome pumpkin. These silly boys. I thought this was cool. The hotel, the Legoland hotel is like 20 feet from the entrance to Legoland. Usually these hotels are a little bit further away than from the amusement park, but not this one. Because it's right there. Let's go in there. And there's the entrance to get in. We didn't stay in the hotel. I think someday maybe I'd like to come back and try it though. It looks really fun. Just grabbed our park map and it says Brick or Treat doesn't start till th what time? Three? Three. Three to seven. So let's go and explore, I guess. I don't really know where we're going. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not 100% sure what they even have here. I don't know much about Legoland. I do love Legos. Me too. You too? Are you excited? Yeah, let's go ride some ride. Yes, let's try to ride. Good job, bud. This dude doesn't really look like a coffee maker. What is that he's got in his hand? Is that a pretzel? This is a pretzel. No, the other hand. Pretzel. A rolling pin and a pretzel. Oh, that's cool. Well, this is a super fun Halloween display, isn't it? Isn't it? Jay? <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. All kinds of cool. I like those little Lego pumpkins. Okay. Hopefully they got these things throughout the park. Let me get a close-up of the pumpkin. Super fun. Oh, dude, they got lights too. I'd love to see what those look like lit up at night. Check this thing out, this little photo op. Interestingly enough, or maybe it's not so interesting, I own a haunted house, so I go to a trade show every year. And I don't know if it was like five years ago, they were selling these at that trade show's photo ops. And I've never actually seen one outside of the show before. Well, our first stop is in Heart Lake City, and we're gonna ride Mia's riding adventure. I'm not entirely sure exactly what it does. I haven't seen it go yet, but I'm just gonna blindly jump on it with the little guys. What happened? Mia's isn't working now. That that is terrible. Yeah. Maybe we'll come back and try it again. Yeah, let's go find another ride. Okay. I want to go to the medieval section. Yes. Oh, I didn't know there was one. Let's go. Look at that adorable little Lego puppy. Look out, buddy. And his little fire hydrant that he's gonna, you know. Well, I wasn't gonna say that, but thanks, Jake. Heading into Duplo Valley, trying to find the castle Lego section. The map made it look like it was through here. Oh, dude, look at that scarecrow over there. <laughs> like 10 feet tall. Oh, there's multiple still walking scarecrows in Duplo Valley. There's a blue scarecrow. Dude, this is cute. They got all kinds of the little Lego. Well, they're giant Lego. They're giant Duplo Lego pieces. Look at this fish, man. Hey, you guys can be my new family. I'm hiding from my sister. She wearing green? Yeah! Oh, we're <laughs> hiding sick. I'm doing real good. She hasn't found me yet. I joined that family going that way. I do believe we have found the Lego castle area. Let me see here. Let's see. What do we got? The dragon. That's what we're going to do. The dragon. 30 minute wait time. Ooh. Well, that's okay. These guys want to ride the dragon too, but I don't think Lego beer and roller coasters mix. Okay, let's check this queue line. Oh boy, I hope this isn't really a 30 minute wait. Well, at least it's in the shade. Is that Florida sun? Good lord. That wasn't no half hour wait, it was like a 10 minute wait. That was such a cute little ride. It's like partially like a little Lego dark ride where you go through a castle and... I wasn't sure what they were doing. Was a wizard trying to summon a dragon or... And then it's got, so then you go through like a little dark ride for a few minutes and then it's a regular little kid coaster. But, yeah, and look at this cute little dragon. Yeah, dude, that was really fun. I wish I could have filmed some of it. They had like, I don't know, just all the little stuff they had in the scenes. They had little Lego mice and little Lego food, lots of little Lego castle soldiers and dungeons. They had some Lego bats, all kinds of cool stuff. Once upon a time, there was a red dragon, and he breathed fire everywhere. Come on, Mr. Wizard, you gotta help 
us save the town or the kingdom. Here we go. Bye-bye. This is called the Wizard's Challenge. <laughs> Reminds me of the Himalaya at Cedar Point only. I don't think it quite goes that fast. Okay, so Merlin's Challenge. Yeah, that's fun. It's uh, definitely built for little kids. The little Lego bricks were like cutting into my spine. Uh oh. And uh, that was a tight fit in the little Lego car for me, but oh. it was still a lot of fun. Oh, Maybe good. Like Did you like it, JJ? Yeah, I'm really digging the uh, Lego castle area back here. I think we pretty much have done everything. Dude, that eagle knows how to shoot a bow and arrow. These little Lego pigs are so cute. They make noise too. I don't know if you can hear the little oinking. Little Lego pig. How come the whiskey barrel's not made of Legos though? This dude looks happy to be a blacksmith. I spotted the Lego Christmas trees getting ready to go out for the Christmas event. I assume they have a Christmas event. I mean, why wouldn't they, right? I know one person at least that's going to appreciate the tongue and groove boards here. This cool little Lego night in front of the Lego playscape type thing. I was running around there for a little while, but once the nuts and stuff get involved, my kids are just too fast. I couldn't keep up. Another note about this guy, though. They got a couple of them, I think, and they're all playing like this wolf howling noise. You can hear it all the way up there, even. I didn't even notice the little Lego wolf when we first came in here. The next on the Legoland agenda is the Royal Joust. Ready, buddy? How much you want to bet I'm not going to be able to ride it? It must be between 4 and 12. Oh no, I can't ride it. Notice on a couple of their little rides here that they got this little area that kids or adults probably could play with the little, well those are Duplo blocks, but Lego blocks while they wait for the ride. Yeah, here comes little Jay, rocking and rolling and jousting away on his little horse here. Where'd he go? There he goes. Oh, hi Jay! <laughs> so you had to be between 4 and 12 and less than 170 pounds to ride the jousting horse. Now well, little Jay's just finishing up. That will be had fun. I'm really jealous, man. I really wanted to ride those silly little horses. It was so fun. It was it? Did you have a good time? Yeah. All right, what to next? Let's go find Mama. <laughs> Looks like Jake abandoned his costume. He must have been too hot. What happened, buddy? Where's your costume? I put it away. It's too hot. Look at this shot of the Legoland park map. It's kind of hard to see. But it's very, like, I don't know, linear, is what I would say. We are right... Right there. I think those guys belong at Universal in front of the mummy ride. Oh, what do we have here? We got a Lego mummy. Ooh, where's he headed? He must be heading in for one of the brick or treat meetups, or the, like the meet the mummy guy. This dude looks like he's ready to have an adventure inside of Land of Adventure, which is where we're headed. Oh, look. Dude, we're gonna go try to meet the mummy. JJ got to meet the mummy. I wanna meet the mummy. Yeah, I found one of the brick or treat things you can do here. You can build a Lego mosaic. Looks like you get a little block here and you put together... Is, it a, is there a certain pattern you have to do? Yes. Yeah, it looks like the pattern's drawn out there. So it looks like once you get done building your little Lego part, you hand it to the park employee over there. She pops it into the bigger Lego thing there. So everybody's working together to build this cool little scene. I did my part to help the Lego mosaic. It wasn't a very interesting piece, but somebody had to do it. I'm not sure which one I had. I had 50. Oh, I don't know. It went over there somewhere. <laughs> Just a dude and his camel. He's hanging out in the hot, hot sun. 
Oh, we're getting ready to ride Lost Kingdom Adventure next. JJ says it's a mummy ride. He keeps saying, let's get on the mummy ride, the mummy ride. 30 minute wait time, and you must be 30 inches to ride this attraction. Well, here's another one of those sections where you can play with the Duplo blocks while somebody's waiting in line. Kids, come back and play while your parents hold you. Oh, yeah, okay. So, you make mom and dad wait in line while you get to play with Duplo blocks. Yeah, I'm not sure where they're getting their wait times from, but this was like a five minute wait. And we're gonna be on pretty soon, yay! Katie cheated. She cheated, she cheated, she cheated. Just to give you a general idea of what Land of Adventure looks like back here in Lego Land, there is at least uh, two rides. Lost Kingdom was sort of like a shoot 'em target game. And then obviously that thing just moves up and down. I'm curious about the wood roller coaster. That's what we're gonna do next. We're gonna try to find that wood roller coaster, but look at that. Another little kid area. Well, actually, this whole park's kid area. Ooh, a giant snake head and a mini snake head and a Mario and Luigi. We are all on a mission to find this roller coaster entrance and ride it, whatever it is. Saurus? Yeah, it says beware of Coaster Saurus. That must be Coaster Saurus right there. Where's the entrance to Coaster Source? That's what we really want to know. I think it's up here. Oh, Coaster Source is running. Look. Oh, a little Jeeps you ride in. Kind of hard to see, but. Ooh, I'm getting excited. Coaster Source. I'm going to feel like a fool if that's not what it's actually called. It is called Coaster Source. And here's the entrance. Some little Jeep in the queue line for Coaster Saurus, and it's got uh, some kind of a dinosaur on a bullhorn. What? There's another Lego dinosaur in the queue line of Coaster Saurus. Also, looks like we've got a rolled Duplo block. Are you excited to ride Coaster Saurus? Yes, I am. You know, you don't look excited. I am. Soon. We're going to be on Coaster Saurus very, very soon. It's a good thing, too, because these two are about to pop, man. He's been obnoxious in line. Obnoxious. Because of this guy, he's an instigator in his orange hair. Coaster Saurus! Yeah, that was fun. That's a good little wooden roller coaster. That's a little bit. That was a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. I found myself an awesome Lego. JJ, what is this? No. Triceratops? Stop kicking it, dude. Look at the what the heck? That is awesome. It says here it took them 640 hours to build. It is 211,000 bricks. So yeah, man, Coaster Source, that was awesome. That's a great little ride. It's a little wooden roller coaster, a little bit longer than I thought. But it's got good hills for little people, or the little guys, girls. Uh, what was I going to say? Uh, the only thing is... The cart was really tight for me. I got had to jam myself into that seat. Some of Jay's favorite Legos are Ninjago Lego. So as soon as he saw this from on top of Coaster Saurus, he demanded we go in here next. So we're gonna go check it out. I love that little dragon, that's awesome. What do we got here? Oh, dude. Wow. This is so cool. Lindsay, we need to do something like this in our basement. Yes, I agree. Oh, thanks for walking in front, Jake. Don't even think about it, Lindsay. <laughs> yeah, dude, that is super cool. You can just add to it. Yeah, lots of little bricks in here. You can make something and add them on. I mean, they're going to stand out, though, because... They're all colored bricks and it's just a white base. Jake just keeps lucking out and hitting the cutoff age on these, so. Lucking, he's in luck, I should say, not lucky now. See what you got there, Ichigo. Come on, buddy. You can do it. 
it, son. Come on. What else can oh, he fell. Oh, Jay's about to do Jay's lightning drill. How do you start it, buddy? Push there. Here. Push this one to start. No, below. There you go. I don't know what you do from there. Supposed to light up? Yeah, I don't know if that one's working. We have to try to run, buddy. Oh, look at these awesome little statues. I have no idea what this ride is. My family's leaving me. I don't know where we're going. This is the ride, the Ninjago ride. Where is this thing at? Well, we finally found the end of the queue line. I don't even know what we're getting into. I have no idea what this ride is. Ninjago the ride. We thought we were getting to the end of the queue and then we rounded this corner and found this whole other room full of people. But I do believe I see the ride entrance right there. So we just got off Ninjago and it's uh, sort of like a shooter game, except you use your hands and like point at the screen. Like it, it rotates, it's a dark ride. It ro the car rotates around in front of these little 3D screens and little uh, Lego ninjas jump up on it and you gotta like, I don't know how to explain it. You like do this with your hand towards the targets. Well, somebody found the boating school ride so there was no way we were gonna be able to skip that. So that is what is next, boating school. Boating school, that's what it's called. I better not get wet on this ride or I'm gonna be angry. So this is what the boating school ride looks like. I'm gonna drive these little boats around. One person does. The other person has to sit there sadly and watch. This is probably an overall better shot of boating school. We did it, I rode with Katie. It was a little rough at first, but she got the hang of it. And then this dude just motored right past us on his boat. Yeah, you did. I think there was something wrong with our boat, though. It didn't look like it was actually moving very much at all when we held the gas pedal down. I absolutely love the trees in Florida. I don't know what kind of tree that is. Um, is it a cypress tree, maybe? I'm not sure, but it's got a lot of Spanish moss hanging off it. But the coolest thing over here is this Lego pirate ship. I sure wish I knew it. I'm guessing it's a cypress tree because this is the old cypress gardens, but I do not know. Man, that Spanish moss looks cool. I'm coming in here to meet Lego Frankenstein. Oh, a Q line. Sweet. <laughs> oh, Katie and JJ are gonna jam with Frankenstein. I think that's easy top. Or maybe not. I don't know. found a flying school ride hidden in the back. Well, there's like little driving cars down here too, but right now we're gonna check out this flying school. Here we go. Just got off a flying school and it's a good little ride. It's a little suspended hanging coaster or a little suspended coaster for the little guys. Had a good time. The only thing I'm gonna say though is it's got really hard restraints. Uh, shoulder restraints here. Take a look at it as it comes by. But it's got those hard rubber restraints in it, and when it would go around the banked curves, it uh, cracked my jaw pretty good a couple times on it. come around the curve like that boom wreck your face <laughs> right on the side of the uh, shoulder thing wouldn't you say didn't you say that happened to you too yeah my knee was my head because it was your head all right let's go move down just walking through the lego city area here at legoland trying to find the brick or treat trail but we are having a rough time with it we keep running into dead ends Ah, oh, check it out, Firehouse Ice Cream. Not too bad of prices, really, for a theme park. Four bucks, five bucks. I think I'm getting the ice cream, though. I'm not real big on ice cream. I am. <laughs> oh, you, are you? Yes. Oh. We found the Brick or Treat Trail. Here we go. 
This is the first stop. No candy. <laughs> this way. So it's for the cut age cutoff is 12 years old for brick or treat. Sucks to be Katie. Wait a minute, it sucks to be me. I can't get candy either. Oh man, I love this. Ha. This is awesome. Some more of these little like I don't know pumpkin Lego pumpkin scarecrows. I'm falling behind. Wait for me. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. Nice. Oh, we've got some costume characters out here, too. Looks like a Lego jail. I spotted Spot. <laughs> Spot looks like a dragon, I think. Just kind of pan these pumpkins again. The trail is just full of these little Lego houses. Each one's a little candy stop. <laughs> oh, fun. That was so fun. Everybody left me. Oh yeah, look at that. There's a Lego wolf and another wolf. <laughs> Happy brick or treat. Happy brick or treat. Oh, hello. Happy Halloween. Oh, these are so fun. <laughs> Rest in Lego pieces. Ooh, I think that's it. Oh no, there's one more. It looks like a Lego coffin. <laughs> Look at the little pumpkin guy there. So there's the candy that Jay got out of Brick or Treat. That's had quite a bit. Yeah. Quite a bit of stuff they got. And that's just included with your regular admission. As long as you're 12 or under, you can Brick or Treat. You know, if you're older, they don't let you. So I have popped out into Miniland, and it is just this awesome recreation of, you know, different things made out of Lego. So I'm not gonna, there's so many, I'm not gonna show them all. But I will show a few. So this whole section right here is Vegas. The Vegas Strip. They have recreated all of the uh, casinos. For instance, there's Treasure Island. The Mirage. Oh, the fountain was going a little while ago. Oh wait, I bet you, I see what you do. There's a little button right here. Check this out. Man, this is so amazing. With the Mirage sign. New York, New York. I don't see the roller coaster. Isn't there a roller coaster that goes through New York, New York? And the next caliber. Yeah, if there's any other really cool stuff, I'll show it, but there's just so much in here, I can't show it all. I'm not gonna go through and spoil them all, but they have a scavenger hunt in Mini Town, and she gotta find all the hidden candy corn. And that's what one looks like right there, but they're all over the buildings in here. You gotta find each and every one of them. Suckers. Yeah. We got a recreation of the White House, and on top of the White House, we got, I don't know what it is, a ninja fighting Dracula and Secret Service or something. Not sure what's going on with that. Hey, look at those monkeys going crazy. Crazy, crazy monkeys. We are in the New York section now. Just look at all this cool stuff, man. Penguins. Oh, dude, those are cute. What we got going on here? So we got the MetLife building. But, check this out. 
It's a Chrysler building in New York City. It's cut away. Look at that. There's this Grand Central Station. This is Grand Central Station. What am I talking about? What am I talking about? That's the Chrysler building back there. Huh, what a goof. What? Oh, JJ's squirting people with the water. Cool down. Wow, no, I don't. No, don't hit me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, 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 no. <laughs> and then, of course, there's the Statue of Liberty. But all throughout them, they got like little cars driving through the cities, boats driving themselves through the canals. We also got ourselves a Star Wars mini land. With all the Star Wars stuff. I'm not that well versed in Star Wars, so I'm not gonna know what a lot of this stuff is. I think it's cool though. Look at that. <laughs> and then I hit all the shade. That is pretty awesome though. What is that wow, thing called? Uh, I do know that. Is that Mo Sizely? The uh, urban. Shoot, what is it? I don't know, the Cantina place. It's the original Star Wars. Okay, I do know the Millennium Force though, or the Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Force. You know, the Cedar Point coaster. Uh, the Millennium Falcon. Falcon. Good lord. The Millennium Falcon. Which is about to lift up, I think. Come on. Oh, nice. Whoa, whoa. That's so cool. Whoa. Take it off. Oh, and this stuff's from the new Star Wars movie. That's, uh, oh boy. You know, oh boy. Caloran. That's who it is. This little ship. Crash. I don't know what those giant ships are called. I'm sorry for any Star Wars fans out there that are angry with me right now for not knowing what these ships are called. Oh, I love this little Ewok section though. I know the Ewoks. Ooh, the, um... Yeah. Yeah, Darth Vader. I know Darth Vader. Oh, so they got boating school, driving school, flying school, and the Rescue Fire Academy. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> it looks like a couple people like pumping back and forth on a fire truck and it runs down a track up to those fire hydrants. It's been just a beautiful day here to come here and the crowds are is very low. There's hardly any people here, so there's basically been no wait time. Ooh, what area is this? This looks cool. Oh, we're back in the Lego Technic area. That's where we are. Look at that ride. That is awesome. Oh, dude, we gotta come back here and do that. Last ride of the evening, and Jay and Jake want to do the driving school. Go catch up to your brother, dude. There's a look at the driving course that Jay and Jake are about to go and do. There's like 10 or 12 other little kids in there at the moment. I'm not sure why all this works. Or when they're gonna let them out to run around. Yeah, it's getting get dark, closer. so it's getting hard to see. All these little kids ready to start running stoplights. And... <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Jakey? <laughs> little Jay, he ran all the way around the course. Now he's got to come back to that yellow car. And he's off. Why are you speaking? What's happening? I think we know. Why are you telling me about this? What is he doing? He's all over the road. He's a hazard. It's starting to get dark, so now the lights are coming on in the little Lego mini area. I like how when you walk by the casinos, you can hear the people inside gambling and cheering when they win. There you go, Legoland Brick or Treat. It was a real fun event. You know, there was a handful of things to do that we didn't get around to doing too. Lindsay said we had to come in here and look at the elf Legos. Those aren't elf Legos. Um, I 
don't think I've seen this one. I don't think it's new, but. Elven Star Tree Bat Attack. This is what you need. I need, what, what is that? Put it up, Jake. It's a journal. Put it up. Is there any of these that you, you can't get elsewhere? Probably a couple of them. Because you got a lot of elf labels. Yes, that's cool. Oh, mom, you mean like this? That's cute. And these little guys are cute. Aww. Just like that coloring book. Oh! Coloring book. No, it's a comic. Well, I like comics. Storybooks. Mm -hmm. hmm. Mom, there's a resort. Yeah. Ooh, a I always like these guys too. There's a drifting diner. There's a car wash. And there's a fro yum shop. And a oh my hot gosh. chocolate van. I almost got you the hot chocolate van one year. I like the fro yum shop. How awesome. There's a creative too. There's auto shop too. Neat. I mean, you're. Yeah, yeah, right now. I'm, I'm, really big big I'm going insane. I'm a nerd. He wants to go back to the castle. I mean, you are a nerd. I'm a nerd. Where'd you find that? I'm a nerd. That is so cool. I would like to go there. What is Bill's your calendar? The advent calendar, isn't it? There's an accessory store, too. Cool. See you later. The airplane looks cool. Where's Jay? Tennis place and a robot. Emma's art cafe. Oh my gosh, it's Princess Legos! Cinderella's carriage. Mulan. Sleeping Beauty. That's a cool one. Rapunzel. Another Sleeping Beauty, and then they got the Moana set. The Ariel boat. Ariel and the Magical Spell, I don't think I've ever seen before. Oh my gosh, it's so cool! And Elsa and Anna. Yep, I saw Moana. What's this one? So cool! And Unikitty sets. Oh my goodness. And cups and books. Unik oh, this this one's like a roller coaster. Awesome. Look at this awesome spider web. Complete with spider. And cocoon victims. Ooh. Yeah, there's some kind of brick or treat event here. I think you hit. I think you were able to build a spider or something. We actually missed out on it. Oh, Duplo Land. He's got some little, little, little kitty rides. Oh, that looks cute. Look, you got a little doggy there and a cow. I don't know. Some other stuff, chickens, whatever. As a parent, that's my nightmare. A fountain area for little kids to run around in and get wet. It's right up there with sandboxes. Hey, some giant Lego bananas. I would say they'd look delicious, but I really don't like bananas. But these cherries, hmm. Apples, cherries, you know what? Maybe I'm gonna pretend they're tomatoes. Some corn on the cob, maybe. Or some fish. And that is either the farmer of Duplo Valley or the guardian of Duplo Valley. I'm not sure. He's got a menacing looking pitchfork there. It looks like they're building an entire Lego movie world area. Over here between the Duplo Valley and the medieval place. Castle, Lego castle, whatever. Yeah, I don't know what all is going to be in it, but it should be done by spring of 2019, it says. Heading back into medieval land because the little boy has it in his head he's going to buy a dragon. 
Yeah, when he gets something in his head, he does not let it go. He gets that from his mother. <laughs> Look at the castle in medieval area. I don't need to figure out the actual name of this section. and are calling it just the medieval section, but look at the castle all lit up. They also had this little ring toss game back here in the castle area. Dad! The courtyard outside Dad. of the dragon ride. Dad! Dad. We're going to ride the dragon one last time tonight because we can pretty much just walk right on it. But I wanted to catch, I wanted to take a look at the courtyard all lit up here. Okay, let's go. Ooh, and the queue line. Oh, we can walk right on. That's a super fun ride, the Dragon. What I want to say is they got the air conditioning set at like 45 degrees or something. 45 degrees F. And it's freezing in here. While this may be an awesome vampire hearse, seems out of place in the medieval section of the park. Oh man, let's take a close look at this. That is awesome! Nothing in the other side? Wow, dude, I love Lego so much. Well, JJ got his dragon. What's his name? Spiky. Spiky dragon? Yeah. Okay. Don't go in the fountains. It's a real pretty carousel in the center of, sort of like the central entryway of Legoland. It's still open, go get some. Final shot of the pumpkins right inside Brick or Treat all lit up with their faces. They were singing earlier. Man, those are so cool. Wow, that's loud. store and all their little window displays they've got decorated up for Halloween. Look at those little Lego guys getting ready to go trick-or-treating. What do we got over here in this one? Yeah, more of the same. More little trick-or-treaters. Oh, these ones are dressed up like mummies. And over here we got some ghosts. Oh, there's some more. I love it when theme parks decorate up their little windows during the holidays. You know, like, kind of reminds me of, you know, like Cedar Point or I guess even Universal. All of them. I don't know. I just love it. I love window displays. Ooh. I'd buy a giant pumpkin like that. That's going to do it for us tonight at Legoland for the Brick or Treat event. It was our first time ever at Legoland. And I had a lot of fun. It's definitely a family-friendly place. Well, I mean, of course it's family-friendly, but I, what I mean is there's not like a lot, any thrill rides. They're all geared for younger kids, but they're still good. And they have a lot of them. So, I mean, if, definitely if you have some younger kids and you want to bring them here, they're not going to be bored at all. There was quite a bit to do. We didn't even get to see and do everything, did we? No. Because there... Yeah, we're... Rides yeah, there was a couple rides we didn't get to do, and I think there's some build sections, and I don't know, just overall great time. So, thanks for watching.